Hello, my name is Ethan Sorensen. I'm the professional services team here at E1, and today I'm going to show you how to build and use an integration between Magento and Business Central. For this scenario, we're going to keep things simple and we'll look at creating a new customer just as a normal customer would sign up through the Magento marketplace, and then how we would import that customer along with orders that they have placed into Business Central. So we'll get started by ordering an item. So I'm going to say I want to order the Push It Messenger bag. And I'll get the overnight duffel. So I have my two items that I want. And I'm going to go to my cart. Let's adjust these quantities because I want a lot of bags. So we'll update those. And then proceed to checkout. So I want Smart Connect to create a new customer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a customer at Magento. And what time is it? 1.30. .com, just to make sure it validates. And then I'm going to call this Demo Magento 1.30. And give it a company name. All right, then we can come up with a street address. Three, four, five. So I want to quickly do some address information because I want this information to flow into my business central. If I didn't want to do that, you could easily remove the address part of the integration or you could add additional address functionality if you do want to store more than one address within business central. But this integration would look at just giving a billing address because if you need further address information, that'll be already saved in Magento and you can export that at any time. So I'm going to grab my shipping method. We're going to keep this a very simple scenario with my few items worth $224. So what I'll do is I'll place the order. Once I have placed the order, then I'll get prompted to create an account. So I'm going to do that just to make sure that if I ever want to come back in, I can do that. So let me make up a password. Okay, and then create an account. So now I can see my user is now registered as an account on this Magento store. If I log into the Magento backend and let's look at sales orders. We should see an order created, number 13 here for Demo Magento 130. And what I'll do is I'll just open this transaction, look at the order, and review it. The lines look good. Everything's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to approve this to be shipped. So I will create the shipment for all eight items. And then I will issue an invoice to the customer. So once I do this, then my transaction is going to reach a completed state within Magento. I have set up my integration to only export orders that are completed. This is something that you can decide based on your business process what is going to be the determining factor of when an order is ready to be exported to Business Central. So now that I have my customer created and my order is in the correct state, I can go over to Smart Connect and tell it to run my integrations. So it's a two-step process. I'm going to run them manually here, but you could schedule this stuff to happen on the back end using the Smart Connect scheduler. So if we click on this one, we can see that my one record was created for customers and that my invoice was also created. So if we flip back into here, we can see that the order number is 13. So let's go into Business Central and try and find order number 13. All right, we can see 12 and 13. So 13 is the one that we want. We can see that it was assigned to a customer, 646 Magento 130, which is a newly created customer for our scenario. So looking over this, we can see that the external document number is what that key is linking us to the Magento system. And then we can also see that the address was defaulted to today. That's something that you can customize as needed, as with any of the other fields on this form. If we look, we can see that the two items were purchased, their amounts and the quantity, and it all looks good. 
Everything looks fine to me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to post it. Say this transaction is good. I want to post it. Do you want to view it? Yes. So now we have a posted sales invoice for those eight items. Now let's say I just got a call from the customer saying we only wanted three of both bags. We didn't want five of the Push It Messenger bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to issue them a credit memo within the Magento system, as this is where the platform is integrating and communicating with my customers, but I will need to fill that back up to my Business Central. So what I'll say is, what is the quantity to refund? Zero. And we'll refund two of these for the grand total of 56. Refund. You've created the credit memo. So now there's going to be under my credit memos, credit memo 25. So to integrate that, I have another map, the ongoing Magento credit memos to BC. If I run this, it found my one transaction and imported it. So back in Business Central, we should now see a sales credit memo for our Magento 130. And we can see that those two items have been returned the external document number is again set to what it is in Magento so that you can always validate that these integrations are running and that everything is going in as expected. And we can also see that it was linked then to the existing posted invoice within Business Central. So now all of this data is linked within Business Central to my customers, my invoices, my items, but then they also have those external identifiers from my Magento system so that I can always figure out where the paper trail leads and work backwards as needed. So this is just one of the many ways that you could use Smart Connect with Magento. Another common scenario we hear about is wanting to update inventory from Business Central to the shopping cart, or maybe needing to integrate with multiple Business Centrals or even multiple Magento stores. And Smart Connect can handle all of these scenarios. We have a bunch of examples in our downloadable templates. So if you want, you can download those and get started today. If you have any questions, please reach out to our team and we'll be happy to help.